guys, welcome back. Bodie 101 here, and we're back in the world of Jurassic World Reborn, picking up a bit after we left off. So last episode, I had a little bit of a love affair with the uh, with the Jeep. Sorry that you guys had to witness that, but whatever. Anyways, you can see I kind of did a little bit of work on the floor here, and if you notice, our Jeep is missing, and it's not in our inventory. Where, oh, where could it be? Well, let me show you. So if we head right over here, you'll notice this ladder that took us upstairs now heads down. And we've got ourselves our very own garage. So basically made tunnels that come out the side. This thing can go up one block little inclines. Made one on the other side. And this is actually part, well, you know what? We'll, We'll take the old girl for a spin, because this is just fun. So, I'm going to run into the walls, and then if I cut hard, cut hard! I still got to make roads. So we can kind of just drive around, drive where we need to go, and then and then I, I got to come in wide. I got to come in wide. That's, it's very integral to the situation. Okay, easy, easy. There we go, easy. All right, all right, over, over. Back down, down, easy. Down, down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, all right, and eh, this is how I really drive, by the way, in, in small bursts, bursts. All right, there we go. So, here's the only problem. We're not very secure, so we're actually going to work on that right now. So, we uh, actually have in this pack um, Melissa's doors. I'm No, I'm saying that wrong. I, I don't care. I'm fine with it, so... And what I noticed in here is a garage door. So we're going to try this out. Looks pretty simple. Just some wood and some glass. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Move stuff uh, I'm trying to have space for some of this stuff. All right. So I'm guessing we have to make multiple of them. But we'll make one for now. Like I said, I've never used these. Um, so we'll see... Hopefully it's not like per panel. All right, so let's go ahead and put these down here. So we, I was thinking we put it like here. Okay, so it is one per. Okay, so we'll uh, we're gonna need to get some more wood and get some more sand cooking up. Let's see what our sand situation is. We actually have a pretty decent amount. So let's go ahead and... Why is the cactus there? Need coal. Need coal, 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 coal. coal. Alright. I don't... Jeez. I didn't go mining, as you guys can tell. It's becoming nighttime as well. Alright, let's do that. And we'll do this. And we'll get some of this cooking up. Let's go grab ourselves some wood. Do you guys hear that sound? All right, is my, do I not have an, any sort of axe at all? All right. I guess we're just going to make ourselves... I'll just make a regular metal axe for now, to be honest with you. All right, I have sticks. Let's grab a little bit of iron. We are going to have to sleep here in a second. What is that? Oh, it's raining. Alright, let's get some sleep. Ooh. Ooh, it's scary. Scary. Okay. Alright, rain, go away. I really need to light up inside those places, but we're gonna help with that situation of keeping me safe a little bit. Let's see. Here he comes. Here he comes. See, you died. You didn't have to die. I was cool doing what I was doing. You could have went off doing what you were doing. But you had to come at me, didn't you? You had to come at me. Get away from me, bees. Get away. Get away. All right, let's grab some wood so we can make some more of these garage doors and see how they even work. Um, and yes, I know I can make a lumber axe and it'd be a lot quicker. But the funny part is by the time I made the lumber axe, I could have gotten stacks of wood. So, come here. All right. I have an automatic tree farm. Did it run out of power? Did the axe break? Let's go check. I forgot I had that. 
All right. Well, it's definitely not cutting down this tree, so I get a feeling the axe must have broke. Uh, yeah. So let's pop. Does that not work, really? Oh, because it's an iron axe. All right, stone hatchet. We'll go fix that. We'll grab some of this wood. All right, let's go fix this stupid stone hatchet. I forgot you can't put an iron axe. It has to be an iron chopper to use an iron axe and so on and so forth. So um, that's one of the reasons why it's kind of good to upgrade those things. But just for now, we'll get a stone axe in there. Get this repaired up super duper quick. Can I do it in here? Of course not. That would be too simple. Let's pull this out. Pop that in and do that. And we're all fixed up. Run out and jump out this window. Did I go out the wrong window? I went out the wrong damn window. I'm basically not any closer than I thought I was. All right. Let's get this bad boy up and cooking again to get some more wood coming in. And boom. There we go. Taking care of business. Moving on. All right, so I want to make a couple other doors for this place um, to kind of keep the baddies out. But since this is kind of a high-tech kind of place, I thought we'd do a little bit more high-tech doors. So I'm thinking like laboratory doors. So it's iron and gold, which we have iron. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on both, so we shouldn't be too big of a deal. We have to make quite a bit of them. But All right, so... Uh, let's make a few just to kind of test a couple things. Alright, and then boop and boop. Oh, it gives me three each. That's cool. Alright, so now we put them on like so. I know I'm going to have to make more. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Very, very high tech. Now there's another thing in here. That is player detectors or player sensors. Glass, iron, and redstone. Once again, not insanely bad. Um, let's see. Let's get some of our glass we have here. We're definitely going to get some more cooking. Let's grab ourselves just a few redstone here and go ahead and make up a few of these. Super duper quick. Let's do... Well, we made six before, so we'll make six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, I'm going to have to make a lot more, but... All right. Then we make player sensors. And if we put these like this... Ah, you can already see how they do. So player sensors are really cool because they're like uh, pressure pads. So they, they, they work the same way, um, except obviously you don't have to step on anything, and it only works with players. So, you know, you don't have to worry about making different ones, and, you know, if you come basically within, I think kind of like a, I think it's these two blocks. Yeah. You come anywhere within these two blocks, they open up, which is pretty cool because, you know, if you're making a run for it, <laughs> oh, okay, just made it. So it's uh, instead of the pressure pad, I've run into so many doors because of the stupid pressure pad. So, all right, so we got some wood. Let's let's make up some more of these garage doors and see if they even work. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Do some more right here, and finish off this chunk. Boy, I hope these work. All right. Okay, so do I put them like this? They do seem different. Okay. They just seem... No, no, no. No, no, no. What's that axe I made? I hear you, Enderman, and I don't care. Okay. Alright, let's go back to doing it like this. Okay.
Okay, so there's that, and how do I open it? Does it need like a redstone cylinder? You know, let's go grab one of those player things. I've never made these. The only garage door things I've ever made are the uh, the ones from the chisel, or no, whatever it is. All right, that's pretty damn cool. I have to admit, that is pretty, pretty awesome. All right, so let's let's test something here. If I get in here, is it going to detect me? It does. Okay, that's that's pretty darn awesome. Let's actually see how many more we, we're going to need, because we're obviously going to want it on both sides. That's actually pretty cool, because that opens like a garage door. That kind of wants me... Is it Dumb little things like that makes me want to build a house. Just to have a garage for that. So, two, three, four, five, and six more. Oh, that looks so cool. I'm a big fan of that. All right. God, it's the little things, guys. It's the little things that you, you need to, you know, keep the excitement. All right, so I need to get more glass cooking. At least six. Let me make sure I don't have, like... Yeah, I think I took all the glass. Yeah, that's about it. I don't think I have anything else up in here. I need more coal is what I need. I just, I don't know. Sometimes, some packs, and I can't explain why, some packs... Just really, really, really want to to not go mining. I really just some packs I love it, some packs I don't. So, all right. So, huh. Here has been an issue because I kind of like this long hallway. Now, the only bad thing is I think with those garage doors, we actually don't get like I don't think we can alter them at all. I think that's about it. Like, I don't know if we can color them or make them look any different. That is just so good. That is just so absolutely good. I'm a big fan of that. All right. Um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, yeah, so I really like on builds to have, like, the three wide entrance. Um, because sometimes, I, and I don't know if it's because real life I'm fat, but I just basically, like, bounce off of the wall and, like, get through there. I'm just, like, threading a needle. I'm like, come on. I'm like, ah, oh, there we go. So it's a, it's, a, it's a friction thing. I needed to, I needed to spit up the sides to get through. So, so I like the three wide thing, but basically it makes an issue for doors because then if I end up putting doors on, I have to put a pillar in between, and then I've got two one-sided doors that defeats the purpose. So... Maybe we'll do a garage door thing here. Maybe something different down here. I don't know. I know this is a really weird... It's like, this episode's all about doors. All right, we needed to make six, I think. Let's go ahead and make those up real quick. Just so we can finish off that down there. Oh, good, I have enough wood for five. Perfect! Wonder Pants! Awesome full. Uh, I got a little bit more here. That'll be enough. It should be. Boom, it is. Okay. All right. Is it getting nighttime again? What is with it? Why is it always nighttime? Uh, as you guys see, I did find cactus in between episodes. Um... So we can kind of get moving on with getting some of the computer stuff, which I still don't know what, how to use. But, you know, you guys know me. I'm great at Minecraft. We'll wing it. Oh, it's going to be a train wreck. All right, there we go. And I think we're going to have to put those player things on both sides. So we're going to have to kind of let that glass finish up uh, going up there. So, all right. Hop into bed here. Um. All right, so let's go back and look at the doors and see what else we have uh, I can't even click on that one what is the door factory seems weird um, medieval door car door 
Reinforced or make a... Should we just put saloon doors on the front? Um, how do we make the reinforced door? It's a lot of iron. Let's play with that one real quick. Let's just kind of see, because I just thought of something that might make this work out better. All right, so if we put this here... All right, that's pretty awesome. I don't think for our front door, because that would make me... Well, I just found another awesome glitch that I am not going to complain about. Okay, well, apparently if you put these doors down and then you break them, maybe we'll put those reinforced doors somewhere else. Um, those are kind of cool, and apparently breaking them makes, gives you extra, so... It's a weird little thing there. Uh, factory door, jail door... Iron glass door. Now, see, now we're getting into, like, industrial craft doors and whatnot. Now, I just thought of something. Let's make up some more of these. Let me get another piece of iron. And I'm kind of curious how these work with those. And we'll see. You guys, you guys will get what I'm getting at here. Hold on. So there's that. And that, that gives me three more. Now, if I were to put these here, here, and here, okay, they obviously open one at a time, and then let's go ahead and grab some, if I have any more chiseled blocks, we use these ones. Okay. Now, uh, let me just grab these off here real quick. So if I put one of these up, it's that one more. Okay. But if I put um, three of them, I wonder... It'd be cool if I could get them to go in unison. Well, I mean, it works. I'd want to put them on the other side. But it definitely works and will keep us secure. And I think it looks a little bit better than doing one of those garage doors as our main entrance. Um, plus, if I'm going to run screaming back to the base, I want to be able to get in pretty quick. So, so yeah, I'll definitely have to make some more of the player things and the doors in between. And a lot of you guys have been like, I don't think Modi has an idea how big the dinosaurs are. I do. Pretty much my concept is is that I eventually want to get enough iron where I can kind of fence off a big land type area. And then also put up a protective iron iron around this whole build. These are here because I was going to put iron in here, but then I realized a lot of the dinosaurs can actually break the blocks, not the fences. So I may have to rethink that. So, but yeah, I kind of cover this all up with iron, you know, build out here. You guys see that we have a nice little uh, cactus farm going here. And the, the honestly, when we left that episode, I was like, I went over like two hills and there was a giant desert. So, but yeah, get all of this out here. I'd have to clean up all the land. I'd want to get rid of any of these big holes in there, uh, you know, kind of fill it in. We have lots of cobble, lots of dirt and whatnot. Do we just have... We just have copper sitting here on the top. All these episodes, I've never noticed that. So, yeah, we can kind of get that situated. Um, I would love to pave this. Um, let's just see. You type in, like, road. Yeah, there's, there's chisel basalt road bricks. So there is a road brick, which we can actually just do with stone. Okay, you can see there's a whole bunch of extra chisel stuff here. Maybe something different. Maybe eh, I want to find something that's not hurt, hard to get. I guess the cobble ones look a little better. They look a little rougher. So we definitely put in some roads. So even though this is a tech pack and a dinosaur pack, I'm kind of treating this a little bit more like a build pack as well. So, uh, you know, putting a little bit more... A lot of stuff I just don't do. You know, I usually... I'm much more... 
you know, function over form. I much more build something to help me as opposed to build something because it looks good. So, so yeah. So you can kind of see, I got excited when I saw these are in here. I did not plan on this being what this episode was going to be. Of the, you know, Modi 101 plays with doors. Just seems like a really dumb tutorial. Really bad. Um, but, no, this... How did you take a sh Who are you shooting at? Oh, you're in here. Oh, okay, you're shooting at me. Okay, stop with the, the left-right stuff. Don't steal my Jeep! Please! Butthole? Shoot me. How did he... Oh, because you know why? Because I don't have F7 in this. I can't see the X's. So, yeah, there's something bad down there. So, all right, well, we're going to wrap things up there. Next episode, we are going to get back into making some of the stuff from the Jurassic Craft mod itself. Um, but, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comments section. Don't forget, if you want to get yourself a server to play on with you and your friends, head, make sure you head over to AB Game. Let them know the squad sent you. And until the next episode of Jurassic World Reborn, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!